Hey, look, um, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I usually film these videos on Sundays. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, just read the damn title. Uh, but I usually film these videos on Sunday. But I was just not in the mood. Um, after watching that game, I'm going to say it. The Patriots defense is celebrating Christmas. Has been celebrating Christmas for two weeks um, straight now. Um, Cause it's, it's just like, at this point, we should have been had the first seed. Um, and if not the first seed, then we should have had the second seed. Um, this damn defense is just so terrible. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how hard it is to get stops. And then when we get stops, anytime we move the ball down the field, like when I was watching the game, um, it it just never failed. Like it's always something, like a penalty somewhere is bound to happen. Do you know what I'm saying? Someone is bound to be called for doing something, and and it just fucks up the momentum that we have. Like we had a chance. Um, I think it was after Deron Harmon had a his second interception, I believe it was. Um, we got down the field and had a chance to score. It was like second and goal at the two, right? You would think, you would think it'd be all so simple to just hand the ball off and run the ball in the end zone and then just be up 17. I think the score was 10 to 14 at this point. Um, but we'd be up 17, 14, and then the Steelers would just go ahead and kick a field goal or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Cool, you know? But for some reason, this dumbass nigga Trent Brown, like I fucking hate this nigga Trent Brown with a passion. Uh, Trent Brown, I swear to God, like this nigga be getting called for holding every goddamn time. It don't matter what play it is or what type of goddamn possession it is, the nigga is getting called for holding every single play. You know what I'm saying? Sonny Michelle can have a 21 yard run. You know what I'm saying? That's good. But guess what? It's most likely nine times out of ten coming back because Trent Brown is holding. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but it was second and goal, right? We get to the one-yard line holding on guess who? Trent Brown. Um, and look, there, there's people on defense that have actually surprised me, like J.C. Jackson. Um, J.C. Jackson has actually shocked me this season. Um, for him being a rookie and, and to play like some of the best defense that he played yesterday, um, especially going up against a superstar named like Juju Smith-Schuster. Um, he made that, that big play, I think it was like 30 goals, you know what I'm saying, and they, they kicked the field goal. Um, but he made that big stop that um, kept, our, kept our season alive for a minute. Um, Another thing I don't get is the damn play calling on offense. Like Josh McDaniels, I swear to God, like it's it's freaking obvious that they're gonna double team Gronkowski. You know what I'm saying? We get down the field. Obviously, I'm not gonna bet against Tom Brady ever in my life. Um, it doesn't matter how this season has turned out. Um, I'm obviously frustrated that we're nine and five. We shouldn't be nine and five. Um, I don't care what other Patriot fans have to say. Um, the fact of the matter is we should have got them at least have locked up the AFC East by now. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, if we lose any more games, we shouldn't because now we're, in, we're at home. You know what I'm saying? The last two games is in Fox tomorrow. Um, but it's just the fact that these damn play calls is just so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have niggas one-on-one -on -one being single coverage. Josh Gordon, single coverage. Julian Edelman, single coverage. Chris Hogan, that man actually showed up yesterday and had his first damn touchdown in, like, goddamn 14 weeks. 
You know what I'm saying? I think it was 13 weeks. I don't think he scored since week two. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's every time we play the goddamn Steelers, that man just, just surprisingly goes off. Uh, which is good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so shout out to Chris Hogan. There was a whole lot of drops also that, that played a big part in um, the loss. But overall, man, it just comes down to to just limiting the fucking penalties and playing fucking defense. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then when we played defense and the defense actually got stops, Deron Harmon had two picks. Um, we couldn't capitalize on either one of those those turnovers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can care less if we get field goals out of those possessions just as long as we get some type of points. Do you know what I'm saying? At, at least, at least David Gostowski, um bounced back after that tough week he had against Miami. Also, speaking of the Dolphins, see, this is what I like. I like when the, when the um, teams that beat that have beaten the um, Patriots this season, like it seems like they just that's that's their main goal. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like they don't care. Like they can they can go the rest of the season and be trash as long as they beat the Patriots. They look at that game as their Super Bowl. That's just stuttered. Uh, which is fine, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, celebrate your celebrate your Super Bowl in December. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's probably as far as you're gonna get this season, um, knowing the Dolphins. Uh, but I was just watching that game and I was like, oh, this is good. Y'all can't move down the field. And then when they moved down the field, it was like they were struggling. You know what I'm saying? Now credit to the Vikings defense. Um, them boys was all locked. Ryan Tannehill, I don't know what that man was thinking. Um, that game was real that game made me happy um a whole lot. But um yeah, as for as for the Patriots season, man, um it's been a minute since we've actually struggled this much. In December, actually, this is like the first time we've lost two times in December since like 2000, and I think it's 2001, 2002, or something like that. Um, which I mean, I think, I think, really, honestly, when looking at the Patriots as a franchise, people have hardly ever seen a struggle. So when, when it's seasons like this that happen to us, people, people actually are shocked. You know what I'm saying? Because they usually see us and they like, oh, they're gonna go 14 and two or 13 and three at most. Still, still gonna be a playoff team. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of, of what happens, um, just as long as we win this week against the Buffalo Bills, um, which which we should. Like I said, we do play the last two games this season in Foxborough, so we're home, um, which we've needed to be um but shit man uh, I don't know Some, something's gotta change something's gotta change and something's gotta change fast if we even have a chance at getting past the goddamn first round you know what I'm saying um luckily we still have a chance to get the second seed so we can still get the um the first round by if we just went out the, the last two games and then a couple teams have to lose. I think it's the Texans. Um, I think the Texans play the Eagles this week. So if the Eagles, who surprisingly beat the fucking Rams, um, do you know what I'm saying? Um, but if the Eagles can beat the Texans this week, which I don't see happening because I really don't fucking care about the Eagles. Um, and even, even if they make the playoffs, they still probably are most likely going to lose to, like, the Saints or someone. Uh, but if the Eagles can beat the Texans and we win this week, then we get the second seed back, and then we play the Jets to end the season next week. And um, y'all know how the Jets is. The niggas is fucking trash. Um, hopefully our defense shows up these last two weeks. Like I said, it it comes down to just moving. Offensively, it comes down to catching balls and and being able to move down the field. Um, defensively, fucking playing defense would help. Um, and then 
limiting fucking penalties. 14, I think it was 14 penalties. That's a franchise record since like 2014. Yeah, that's fucking sad. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's the little shit too. You know what I'm saying? I think they got Jonathan Jones for a fucking holding call. The nigga wasn't even doing shit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Um, but we should be able to win these last two games of the season and, and end up going 11 and five, which I mean we've done before. We've done we've won 11 and five before. Uh, I think the last time we did that it was 2001. Y'all know what happened in 2001. That was back when Brady was a rookie. 2001 was a good year for us. Um, but overall, man, as far as as far as the season goes, it's not over. You know what I'm saying? Still, still two more games to play. Um, hopefully, we can make adjustments. And if we do make adjustments, then we should be able to win the last two games, go to the playoffs, and see what happens. Um, regardless, I'm gonna roll with this team to the end. Um, like I have been doing for 19 seasons, and it's not going to stop. Um, so, in case anybody in the comment section calls me a fake fan, I'm not a fake fan. It's just games like yesterday that frustrate me to the point where I just have to bash certain people on the team. Like Trent Brown, do you know what I'm saying? Um, who I feel like just needs to be released. Because, because his plays like those, there's penalties like the ones he had yesterday that cost us games. Because if we just, it's a matter of scoring one touchdown and we go up. Do you know what I'm saying? 17-14, they kick a field goal. We go to overtime, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? If we, if we even go to overtime, then cool. We still probably have a chance of winning. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. At that point, cool. I just don't get it, man. Um, I'm not a fake fan. I'm not a, I'm not a bandwagon. Um, I've supported this team for 19 years. So, that's just a heads up for the people that might just want to say that I'm a fake fan and I'm a bandwagon. No, I'm not. Um, but that's going to do it for this video, y'all. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure you got your post notifications turned on. And um, leave some uh, video suggestions down below in the comment section as well. <clears throat> I will see y'all tomorrow in the next video. Alright? Take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Love y'all. Peace.